All right, here's our next one from Jared Aviak. He still hasn't apologized for being wrong on Liv Morgan. She's still babyface, by the way. Right. She's not, yeah. <laughs> Are we going on a year now? Close to a year, right. almost? Yeah, and she just returned, and she returned as, as a what? A heel or a face? Yeah. Babyface, okay. big pop. Okay, the subject is Young Bucks, most overrated tag team. Hi, K100 fam. Hope everyone is doing well. Before the little crystals crack, I met one of the Young Bucks and had a good conversation about music with Papa Buck. So what I'm about to say is not personal. However, can the K100 crew definitely state that in terms of promos, quality wrestling, and long-term box office impact, would the Young Bucks be the most overrated tag team of all time? What legacy have these guys left to belong in the same conversations of Road Warriors or Stevens and Bachwinkle? Thank you. All the best, Jared. Um, yeah, they're, they're definitely overrated because they've only been like – because Meltzer's just put, put them over ad nauseum. They, they've never – the only way you can judge your worth in the wrestling business – Okay, it's to go work for the number one company and see how you do. All right, they've never been to WWE, so I can't say that they're overrated just because Meltzer's dirt sheet, you know, the, the people that read Meltzer's dirt sheet gave, you know, voted in the tag team of the year. That that's irrelevant. That that doesn't that means nothing to me. The thing is, is like overrated is how were you pushed on WWE television and whether or not you performed or whether or not you under delivered or delivered. And that, that's how I would judge you. It's just they've never, they've never been there. I would not say they're overrated. I, I said they're, they're not rated yet because they haven't been they haven't been to WWE yet. So that's my opinion. What, what do you think, Tony? What do you think, Joe? You think they're overrated? No, I don't think they're overrated. I just think that the Bucks they have a Young Bucks match, right? And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it, it just all depends on if that's your kind of match that you like, you know. <clears throat> and I've seen some really good Young Bu Young Bucks matches. I've seen some things where I'm like, okay, I've seen that before, you know, but I've seen them live against uh, Kazarian and Daniels and against the Hardys, and it's two of the best tag matches I've ever seen in person. So, you know, I'd say I'm a, I'm a Bucks fan. Okay. Here's, here's the, this is what the, the equivalent I'll give it to. When you say he's overrated, it'd be like equivalent of like, is, is Ronald Acuna Jr. overrated because the Braves beat writer did his top 10 outfielders of all time and he ranked Ronald Acuna number four? Right. Like, you know, so then that's it. So I'd be like, okay, well, who, who did the, who, who rated the guy, you know, like who did, you know, this is, bro, they, just because Dave Meltzer ranked these guys really high, doesn't, re that's not a measuring stick in, in the big picture of whether or not you're overrated or not. Well, you know? I just think that, you know, as you know, I'm a big young buckaroos friend because I think live they're a great act and mm -hmm. um, they really know how to treat their fans, which is very important nowadays. Yes, they do. And, and um, They've always drawn in Mexico, in the Indies. When I brought them in, they drew. They went to New Japan. They got over there, and they were champions, which is not easy to do. Their wrestling is always creative. Uh, they never call it in. They're very professional. Uh, they can cut promos. I just don't think they're motivated right now. Um, look at them compared to when the company started. Just their body language, their attitude, their everything, bro. It just seems like they don't want to be there, and I could be wrong. Um Saying they're the worst team of all time uh, is it's such a stretch. Who sent this? Uh, JVA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jared, well, most, Jared, most yeah. overrated of all time. Right. Yeah. That's so. quite a stretch because they're still doing their legacy. They could still go to WWE and pop off. You know what I'm saying? So, those, they're, you know, they're, they're, contracts, they're, they're Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. I was going to say their contracts, supposedly, them and, and Omega are both up at the end of this year. So you never know. Wait, can he just resign, though? Did he? I thought yes. I read it there. Okay. Let me check on that one. But. 